第3試合、タクマッチ30分一本勝負を行います。It's a tag match. Kaito Kiyomiya alongside Daiki Inaba taking on King Tani and Mohamed Yone. It's about to get funky up in here. Bringing the funk to Kyushu. Tokyo to Kumamoto. It's all about keeping it funky. Mohamed Yone gives something to one of our younger members in the crowd who will be super chuffed with that. I believe the kingdom of King Tani extends beyond Tokyo, far and wide across Japan. Aukona, total weight of 475 pounds. Yone and King Tani. Funky X Press! Funky Express, ladies and gentlemen. This music. If you know, you know, the supernova is in the house. Many a Kaito Kiyomiya fan in attendance here today. All the phones are out, all the cameras are out. All the eyes to the curtains in anticipation of this tag match. Daiki Inaba out first. Now, this is a home crowd for him, born and bred in Kumamoto. He'll be looking to put on a fantastic performance for everybody here today. Inaba Daiki! Daiki Inaba! And straight in behind him with his own special t-shirt on, just tore it off, and he is ready to rock both him and Iba. Inaba looking big and ripped. Yeah, both men absolutely in peak condition. Kiyomiya the youngest on this match here today. 25 years of age. King Tani and Mohamed Yone, both 44 and 45. Inaba, 33. Kiyomiya making his almost 600th appearance here today. One half, of course, of the reigning GHC Tag Team Champions. The onus is really on the hometown man here, Inaba, especially when he's wrestling alongside the Supernova, who's the second man of the Tag Team Championship team. Having just seen Asikimia, we will now see the Supernova. I'm sure Inaba is going to be spurred on here in front of his family, in front of his friends. Kaiki Inaba in his debut two years before Kaito Kiyomiya, his tag team partner here today, had a background in judo. He was originally trained by Keiji Muto and Shuji Kondo. Inaba, a former two time Wrestle One champion. Former Wrestle One Tag Team Champion and also a former UWA World Trios Champion. Inaba has had seven wins in his last ten outings. Uh, he's been outsmarting the juniors in Noah, the home series this month. He's not going to be able to outsmart or outmuscle King Tani too easily, but he's having a damn good go at it. Cranking on that side headlock. Inaba trying to move that weight that is King Tani. Even without his crown on, he has a special power. Smiles at Inaba. Follows up. Huge shoulder. <laughs> there we go. Strikes a funky pose. 
boot from Inaba, looking to follow up quickly behind. Smashes the face down of Kintani onto the mat. Hooks up a leg. Kiyomiya straight in behind him with the elbow drop. These two have teamed up a number of times recently, and to good effect, as we're seeing here. Two on one, King Tani. There's the funky Afro stepping in with the save, taking a hold of Kaito Kiyomiya, batters his head into the corner. Kiyomiya reverses it, the funky express looking to come back here, but take two kicks in stereo. Oh, there's the power of Funky Express. Mohamed Yoni and King Tani doing the do. King Tani dumps Kiyomiya on top of Inaba in front of his hometown crowd. Two for the price of one, a Funky Express special. Both men have got their trans trousers on today. There's the tag. Mohamed Yoni steps in, Inaba still down. Takes control. Easily picks him up and follows up off the ropes. Oh, wow! Mohamed Yoni smashes down onto the upper body of Daiki Inaba. Two count on that one, but stays on him. Oh, he's trying to rip his head off now. Is he raking in, into the eyes there when the referee's not looking? He turns him round for the other side to see. And for the other side, making a show of this one here, Mohamed Yoni. This is not what the Kumamoto fans want to see, their hometown boy. Their own man getting treated poorly. Kicks out of that one, but Yoni's still on him. Gets up with a big forearm, pumping those elbows in. Oh, that one sat him down. Oh, yeah. oh, he's fired up now. Daikinaba fires back. Three, four, five, six. And Mohammed just one. Sends him down to a knee. As much of a motivational tool as it is for Inaba, it feels like it's fueling the Funk Express today. They want to take down Inaba in his hometown. They want to record that scalp. Yep. Yeah, there's no beef with Kiyomiya at all there. They want to really make Inaba look bad. Yeah, they've definitely made a beeline from him from the outset. Yoni has him over the second rope. He ties his arm up. What's he got in store? The Funky Express. King Tani follows up. And they strike a pose. Make it funky. Thank you, Express says, welcome home. The face of Daiki Inaba says it all. Go from kick off. Go from kick off. Their own version of welcoming committee. Five minutes into this tag match, the third on this card here. Mohamed Yoni and King Tani, of course, both former five-time GHC tag team champions with various partners, of course. Yeah, you feel that's really their goal, surely their aim is for a sixth reign and for first time for them to do it together as the Funky Express. Taiki <laughs> Inaba suffering at the hands of the disco duo. He only lets go, but... <laughs> Just holds it a little bit longer. You can see the redness on the neck there from some of the work of the hands of Yoni. Yeah. Back, but takes a horrific kick to the thigh. Again, coming back off the ropes now, trying to use some speed. Takes a big boot from Mohamed Yoni down to the mat. He goes. Absolutely leveled in Abbott with the Yakuza kick. The crowd love Mohamed Yoni wherever he goes. Oh, <laughs> brutal lariat. Delivered.
Rosina back to the opposite corner, follows up, gets stopped this time, but it means nothing. Batters in a lariat for good measure, off the rope, stucks under that one, Inaba flies in for the shoulder. Kilia wants in. Inaba needs to get over there. Tani wants in. He only doesn't see it, takes a massive drop kick from the supernova, follows up with another one, sending King Tani. Oh, outside of the ring. Firmly in control now, Kaito Kiyomiya battering down into the afro, trying to take that power away from Mohamed Yone. Yeah, not even the afro is going to cushion those blows. Stops him with the elbow, off the second rope with a flying forearm, Kaito Kiyomiya. Looks remarkably fresh considering he wrestled Yoshinari Ogawa to a 30 minute time limit draw on Sunday. Unbelievable. Drop kick from Yone. Yeah, and go out of your way to see that contest Ogawa against Kiyomiya. That was really a mat wrestling clinic, one for the purists. You can find that in the archives on Wrestle Universe. Highly recommended for sure, Mark. That's right. Quintani follows up with another huge laddie. Yone and King Tani absolutely smashing. I think you can make a case that this is the best we've seen them so far, Stuart. Shoulders up out of that one. Kaito Kiyomiya safe for now. King Tani still on his feet. Yeah, belly to back suplex for a near fall. Can't afford to waste time though against the Supernova. Both Funky Express members in now. Yone has a hold of Kaito. Both going to town on him, making it look easy. Referee having trouble trying to get Yone out. Yone trying to take his attention away. Yeah! The double axe handle. Kiyomiya comes back, but Tani slams him. Hooks up the leg. Two. And if I guess the save. He only gets sent out rather unceremoniously there. Absolutely bounced off the apron, didn't even roll him out or slide him out. Just bounced him out. Opportunity for the two on one here. King Tani in the corner, it's double trouble. Kaito Kiyomiya delivers his partner in with the forearm and follows up. With a reverse elbow. In stereo, but it's King Tani with a double lariat. He's so vicious with him. Every tag team that tries to do that to him, he always just clotheslines them out of business. Huge chokes then from King Tani. Up the top rope now, unfamiliar territory. King Tani strikes a pose and drops in, but nobody home there. Kiyomiya rolls out the way. That had to have hurt. King Tani there, Inaba in. Ten minutes in, and Inaba staggers the big man back, follows up with a forearm, sweeps his leg away. The crowd are loving it. Oh, there we go. Cannonball. On fire now, Daiki Inaba and Kaito Kiyomiya drag King Tani to his feet. Get underneath the man mountain. Boom. Oh, could this be it? Two, there's the save. Yone gets in just in time. Goes to the body now. Inaba again dumps Yone out. Straight over the top rope there, the plancha. Taking out the Afro man. Meanwhile, we have the two legal men in the ring. Tiger suplex. Looking for it. Looking for it. But to get the Tiger suplex, you have to deal with that strength of King Tani. King Tani gets out, but takes a European uppercut. Oh. Drop kick! Kaito Kiyomiya. Belly to back. Dumps him over up into a high bridge. Oh, not quite. Fraction away with the bridge in German. 2.9 on that. Oh. 
He's can. He's in trouble here. He is looking for the Tiger Suplex again. The supernova. Boom! Kaito Kiyomiya reigns supreme against King Tani and the Funky Express. Take an L. Yone not able to get in there with the save at the end there, having to deal with Daiki Inaba holding him back. Good tag team work from Inaba and Kiyomiya today, Mark. Yeah, and a very impressive finale there to lift the man. King Tani sight, King Tani bulk up for a Tiger Suplex over and bridge for the win. Excellent performance from these two. Kaito Mia showing some props there, and this, the spotlight goes on to Inaba, and of course in his hometown here representing Kumamoto, but wow, Kaito Kiyomiya with his trademark drop kicks and Tiger Suplex to finish off the day for Funky Express. Big congratulations to Kaito Kiyomiya and Daiki Inaba. The most jaw-dropping, revered, first-rate action. Pro Wrestling Noah. 900 yen monthly. Watch all the action you want on Wrestle Universe. State-of-the-art, powerful production and drama of biblical proportions. The highest level athletes and techniques collide with our shining stars. Do not miss the finest in pro wrestling right now. Wrestle Universe.